Hi my friends! So today we are going to make some pancakes. I have my homemade pancake mix here and I need one cup of mix. I'm using my dry measuring cup because these are dry ingredients that I'm measuring. And then I'm going to level things off with a knife to make sure that I get exactly one cup. The next thing that I need is one cup of milk. There we go. I used my liquid measuring cup to get one cup of milk. Now, I need to crack one egg. There we go, one egg into the mixture and all of my ingredients are in. Now I'm gonna whisk things together until all of the lumps are gone so that I get a nice smooth batter for my pancakes. There we go, a nice smooth batter for my pancakes. And I'm ready to put my pancakes into the frying pan. I have some butter that's been melting in my heated pan. And now I'm going to use a quarter cup measuring cup to measure some pancakes into the pan. Now we're going to heat these pancakes up until little bubbles start forming on the surface of the pancakes. And that will tell us that it's ready to flip. Oh, those bubbles are showing us that it's almost ready to flip. Looks like we're ready to flip these over. Ooh, golden brown. Now we just have to wait for the other side to cook. So my friends, yesterday we toured a maple sugar house and this right here is what sap looks like when it comes out of the tree. It's clear and doesn't really taste like much of anything. Now we have some maple syrup that's been boiled down and this is what goes perfectly on pancakes. Can you believe that it took 
30 to 50 gallons of this sap to make this one gallon of maple syrup? Wow! I'm ready to enjoy my pancakes. Now my pancakes are rounded, but they're not a perfect circle. They look more like a different shape to me. What shape do they look like to you? I was thinking they kind of looks like an oval, but you know what? They're gonna be delicious. Ready for some syrup on these pancakes now. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to enjoy my oval pancakes. And my friends, what shape did I fold my napkin into? It's got three sides. It's a triangle and it's gonna help me get all of that sticky goodness off of my fingers and my mouth when I eat these pancakes. Ready to dig in. Mmm, my favorite. Thank you for joining me. Bye. Hello, my friends. I'm now going to make another treat using my maple syrup. I'm heating one cup of maple syrup and as it's boiling, it's going to reach a temperature of 234 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're gonna make some magic. This Maple syrup has reached the point where it is at a soft ball texture. It has reached 234 degrees and we are ready to drizzle it onto our sheet of ice. to make some candy. sugar on snow. Yum, yum, yum. You have to just pick it up and you can also pour it in little spots. Mm -hmm. Meeting each other. And do some, you know, do something the other way if you want to. It's, uh... What shapes do you see in the sugar on snow? What letter do you see in the sugar on snow? Why do you think I chose that letter?
Until next time, friends.